Kids say it's like emergency surgery on Fairhope's signature bluff. Remember, last summer, a large hunk of the bluff just gave way near Bayview Street after some heavy rain. A quick fix was made to stabilize the area last year, but now workers are building a complex drainage system to prevent further erosion. Fox 10 News reporter Matt Barentine has a closer look at what's being done to save the bluff. Dorsey Henderson has walked the bluffs of Fairhope for years. The land was originally a dairy farm of his grandparents, and today, even though the land is now a neighborhood, he still tries to care for it. I planted about, about 10 pounds of bermuda grass, and then about five or six different kind of uh, flowers. Over the years, Henderson has seen the bluffs steadily shrink as runoff from the city has eroded them away. Right up here, you've lost. Uh, at least 30 foot of the bluff. That large section of the bluff washed away due to record rains last summer. Tons of red clay washed down to the beach park and Bayview Street was nearly cut in half. I was surprised, but it had been something that, you know, had been happening over the years, but in a lot, much smaller amounts. You know, then we saw that last July. Fairhope Public Works Director Jennifer Fiddler says water gushing out of an old pipe blasted away the bluff. It's something she doesn't want to see happen again. This is our Bayfront Park. This is an area people walk, they enjoy, they picnic. To prevent another collapse, this entire section of bluff is getting re-engineered. Right now, as they get the work started, it looks like just a big hole in the ground. But that hole will be filled up by a sophisticated water retention system, and then the whole area will be covered back over, restoring much of the bluff. It's all managed through a culvert or pipe, and so we'll just be basically filling in the bluff because we won't have any more erosion. It'll all be controlled. It's a plan that worked a few years ago a couple of blocks away. In this repaired section, the land has settled, but it hasn't given way. If you don't control it in a uh, structure, like a culvert, then it just runs across the parkland. And then if the, it runs across the water sheet flows across the parkland and over the side of the bluff, that's when it causes the erosion. And with roads and homes just feet away, any further erosion has to be prevented. In Fairhope at Barentine, Fox 10 News. Fiddler expects that project to be